Bye. Bye. Bye, Smokey. <laughs>
improve your executive presence. I've learned a lot about myself. Um, I realized, well, I kind of knew that I tend to, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I feel like as like a woman in this industry, sometimes it's difficult to get a word in. <laughs> so I tend to be like very straightforward. I tend to like interject a lot. And like, if I know the answer to something, I will say it. But I learned today that sometimes you have to take a step back. You have to let other people also be part of the conversation even when you know the answer because it's supposed to be a collaborative space. So I intend on practicing that a lot more. Um, like being more collaborative. I don't know, I'm very like... I like to work alone. I mean, it's not that I don't work with other people well, but I like my natural state is working alone. But I feel like if I want to continue growing, in this industry, I have to learn how to do both, if that makes any sense. Um, so yeah, I've learned I've learned a lot uh, today, even though I was extremely tired. And, and uh, also I got to talk to a lot of smart women, ambitious women as part of the Blue Origin, um, you know, um, hiring event. It was amazing getting to learn a little bit about them. It kind of reminded me when I was going to job fairs trying to like get internships it's so interesting it's like i'm seeing myself like eight ten years ago <laughs> um and it's very cute to see to be honest but it was really really nice getting to talk to a lot of them and giving them advice about like how to approach these conversations like about getting an internship or getting your first full-time job and yeah i'm excited for tomorrow i'm excited to return and talk to some more people um and I think um, one thing I told myself is I feel like today I didn't really get to network with anyone. So tomorrow I'm going to try to make the effort to network with at least one person. Because I'm really, I don't know, I'm really bad at like talking to people just to talk, like just to get to know people. I realized that recently I've been more of like, oh, if I don't, if there's nothing to talk about, like if I don't, if that person doesn't need anything from me and I don't need anything from them, then what's the point of talking? But I don't know, I feel like sometimes you just need to get to know people a little bit. So I'm making it a goal this time to network with at least one person per day. Wish me luck. Okay, I need to go get dinner and then I'm gonna knock out. It's, what time is it? It's like 6 p.m. or something. So I'm gonna go get some oysters. I'm so excited. I, I love... Creole food. I love southern food here in, in New Orleans, so I'm super excited to start with some fried oysters, fresh oysters. Mmm. All right, let's go. So loud. <laughs> but second day of Society Women Engineer Conference. This is the shirt that I bought yesterday. It's in my colors. Uh, but first I gotta go get coffee and then I'm gonna head out and start. I don't know if I'm gonna start at the Blue Origin booth or go see some panels. We'll find out.
first event I'm going to. It starts in 15 minutes. It's called Leading From Within, Transforming Teams and Driving Efficiency. And this seems more about um, like challenges for transforming like team dynamics. I, if, if you haven't noticed, that's a theme for me. I'm trying to be more kind of like, I think that's a weakness of mine. Um, like working efficiently through like with every single team, right? Like I've had challenges in the past with certain types of teams and people. So I'm trying to work on that. And that's why I'm attending this one. It seems fun. Uh, the speakers work for LexisNexis. I don't know what that is to be honest. But one of them is a director in software engineering. The other one is senior director in software engineering. So we'll see. And I think there's a second one that I was interested in. Oh, it's at the same time, crap. Uh, okay, well, it's on the other side of the event area, so I'm probably just gonna stick with this one because <laughs> I don't wanna have to go all the way over there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited. So far, um, a lot of the panels that I've attended have been really, really insightful. Um, so I'm excited to see what's for today, like, you know, the panels from today. <clears throat> and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I got my coffee, it took me like 30 minutes, but the workers there were really nice. Yeah. <laughs> at um, school, I went to University of California, Irvine. I was a Yay, okay, I just got back from the conference. Um, it ended about an hour ago, and I got ready to go to a company, like, it's an unofficial dinner with a bunch of my uh, women co-workers that attended this conference. And today was a lot better than yesterday because I had a really good night of sleep, thankfully. And I got to talk to a lot more people. Um, and I, I did, hear me out, I did, reach my goal of networking with one person. I networked with this one girl. Um, she's in a different field than, than me. She works for Amazon, but not the software Amazon. She works for like the robotics and operations team at Amazon and she was very sweet. We exchanged LinkedIn and I told her that next time she's in Seattle, she should check it out and you know, hit me up and then we can hang out. So that was really exciting. It was kind of scary at first, but then she was really nice to talk to and I got to learn a little bit about her role at Amazon, which is kind of cool. And then as I was uh, also doing the Blue Origin uh, career fair, I helped for a long time there. There was like a really long line. So thank you so much to everyone that came and talked to me. But one of the girls that I met, um, she waited to talk to me and she watches my YouTube channel, which was, I, I don't know, I feel like it made my day. I was so excited that at least one person actually like watched my YouTube channel and it was so sweet what she says, she or what she said to me, it was really sweet. She said that thanks to my videos, like she was able to push through her studies <laughs> and continue and finish. She just recently graduated. It was really nice to connect with connect with her too so I don't know I was so excited when she said that um, she watched my videos I was like oh my god like it was crazy I don't know it was kind of weird because I don't know how to explain it it was like such a surreal feeling it's always cool when I meet other women that tell me that they felt more empowered to be you know engineers to do well as engineers in school because of me because I feel like the reason I started my YouTube channel even though now I'm less active on it was so that I can show people what it's like, specifically women, because I feel like when, you know, years ago when I was in college, I looked everywhere, like I looked all over YouTube and I couldn't find anyone that was uh, like a woman engineering student, so I decided to start my channel because I felt like maybe if I can't find someone, then maybe I should do it. <laughs> so it's, I don't know, it means the world to me and it makes me even more motivated to vlog even more <laughs> about my, you know, life now as a professional instead of a student. So yeah, it was so exciting. I had such a good time. I don't know, I feel like I'm an introverted person, but I love connections that like fuel my, I don't know, like like my, my interests, if, if that makes any sense. So such a good time. Tomorrow will be the last day, but tonight, since it's Friday night, I'm gonna try to explore the city and go, you know, have a few drinks here and there. So I'll try to take you guys along with me. Let's go.
make sure you tell your story because you never know who needs to hear it. One of the best things about conferences, I've had so many people come up to me and say, thank you so much for sharing your, a little bit of your life story and it helped them to connect. So again, the essence of SWE is our community and together we build that community by talking to each other, supporting each other. Engineering isn't just about circuits and codes. It's about designing life beyond a blueprint. Reinvention isn't just survival. It's shaping who you become. Dreaming big is about living your best life and finding your ikigai, your purpose in life. But even with all that accrued confidence that I cultivated, doubt crept in. I love you.